Hey, Susanna, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, Andrew, I'm good, thanks. So how are you? I'm good, good. So, so what's up? Um, I just wanted to know if you could help me with a little decorating project. Yeah, I can help you out. What you got? What do you have in mind? Well, I don't know if you knew this, but I just recently finished getting my master's. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thanks. So here's the thing. My graduation ceremony is in a few weeks, and I wanted to know if there was any way you could customize a mortar board and stole for me. Yeah, I can do that for you. Yeah, what do you have in mind? Well, I'm kind of a big movie buff. Action. I was thinking something film related. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a movie buff too, so I can I can relate for sure, for sure. I can I can definitely get that done for you. Awesome. Thanks. All right, you're welcome. Cut. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Print Pros. In today's episode, we're gonna be making a custom mortar board and stole for one of our remote writers using heat transfer vinyl. We're gonna be setting up the design on our software and then we're gonna be pressing it on our heat presses right over there. Before we get into that though, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. All right, so first things first, our materials, we're gonna be using a mortar board, our stole, our weeding tool for our vinyl, our heat transfer vinyl, the Teflon sheet, and if I can guide your attention right over here, the RCP 6301 25 inch vinyl cutter for the vinyl, and to press it, the Ricoma Auto Open 16 by 20 heat press. Okay, now that we've talked about the materials we're gonna use for this project, let's go ahead and set up my Sign Master software program and get this thing cut. And so first things first, I'm gonna open my Sign Master cut arm software and we're gonna go ahead to our file and then we're gonna import our design. Select import as editable. An editable design allows you to make changes to your design based on your needs. I've got this design that I will divide into two separate designs that will go on both sides of my garment. Then I will select the Apple icon, create cut contour check the box that says keep holes. This will tell my cutter to cut out the inside of my letters. Then I'm gonna click accept. All right, so we have our first design set up. Let's go ahead and set up our vinyl cutter and get this thing cut out. Follow me. I got my vinyl. I'm gonna go ahead and load it and lock it in place. All right, we've got our vinyl loaded in place. Let's go ahead and set our cutting parameters. Then I'll set the cutting force to 200 the blade on level four, and the speed to 400. I will select my design and click on my cutting icon. Since it's heat transfer vinyl, we want to make sure that we mirror the design so that it flips it backwards. If it was regular vinyl, we would make sure that the mirror is off. Then I'm going to click on area test. This will tell my cutter to trace my design so that I can make sure that my cutter never comes off my vinyl at any point. Select cut now. Proceed with cutting. All right, let's go ahead and cut. One portion of the stole is done. Now we're gonna cut out the other one. Click on area test. All right, that looks good as well. Let's go ahead and cut. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and weed my design. When your designs are more intricate, make sure you take your time when weeding the design.
Now we're gonna go ahead and take this to the heat press. So here we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the parameters on my heat press. First thing, the target temperature, I'm gonna change from 300 to 310 degrees. And then the timer from 10 to 20 seconds. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat the stole so that I can remove any moisture and any wrinkles. And then we're gonna press the designs. So first things first. Remember, here you can choose to change the timer on the heat press or just do it manually. And do like a quick press for about seven seconds. There we go. There we go. And let's do the other side. Just up here. Same thing for this one, seven seconds. All right. All right, so our stool has been preheated. Now, we're ready to press our design. this up okay make sure that it's nice and flat and then we'll be ready to press all right grab my Teflon sheet and here we go I'm gonna put my platen back inside and 310 for 20 seconds so when the 20 seconds completes, remember it's a hot peel. So as soon as this comes up, we're gonna peel off the vinyl portion. All right. And we're gonna peel off the adhesive. And there we go. One side done. And now let's do the other. Ahead and set this over here. And it's the same thing. We'll make sure that this is lined up nicely. Okay, press it nice and flat. Grab our Teflon sheet. Remove my Teflon sheet. And here's our peel. And there we go. Our stole is complete. Very flashy. Now I'll load my next vinyl sheet and repeat the same process from my other two designs. And always remember to lock your vinyl in place. I'm gonna go to my Apple icon. I'm gonna select Create Cut Contour. Select Keep Holes and then click on my cut icon. Make sure that the mirror section is checked. We're gonna click on Area Test. We're gonna go ahead and select cut now.
That's a wrap, but not quite, because I still have to cut this out so I can fit it onto my mortar board so that I can press it easier. So that way I can stage it onto my cap. And yep, that's perfect. That'll be perfect for when I press this. All right, and let's load our final vinyl. And now for my clapper, the same process. I'm gonna go ahead and left click and drag over the design. Go over to my Apple icon, create cut contour. Here also I'm gonna select keep holes and I'm gonna go over to my cut icon. Once again, make sure that the mirror section is checked. Click on area test. All right, that looks good now. We're ready to cut. We're gonna go ahead and select cut now. Proceed with cutting. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into two sheets so that I can use the button on my mortar board as my guide point. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to press. All right. We've got our mortar board in hand. We're gonna do our text first, that's a wrap. And then after that, we'll do the clapboard. Our heat press settings for the cap remain the same at 310 degrees for 20 seconds. There we go, we got our text in. Now let's get the clapboard. Portion one of the clapboard. Part one done, now let's do part two. All right, so here's part two of our clapboard. Let's go ahead and line it up. I'll just do a quick press, just to get these little portions here. Do like a quick five second press. All right. All right. And now that's a wrap. Man, I gotta say this came out really nice. I'm happy about this and I think Susanna's gonna love it. Now, a real quick tip that I did. Reason why I held the heat press is because of the button right here. I tried to adjust it and it didn't seem to catch on, so I held it for the 20 seconds for each press. But other than that, any other garment that's flat, it won't have any problem. But I'm really happy with how this came out. I think it's time to show Suzanne. Ta-da! Wow! I and love it! Yes, it's perfect. Oh my yes, gosh. Yes, awesome. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm, I'm so glad you love it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so it came glad. out so nice. How much do I owe you? Mm -mm, no, no, no. Don't worry about that. No. I'm serious. How much would you get for selling something like this online? 
Well, so the mortarboard and the stole, we got that as a combo for $20. And then we used about $2 worth of vinyl. So we're in about $22 for the project. I know that the mortarboard alone, when you sell it online, is about $48. And then coupled with the stole, you're looking at about $60. $60. So it's about a 64% profit margin. Okay. Um, let's call it an early graduation present. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. I'm just <laughs> glad that you love it. As soon as I get off of work, I will send it out to you. And I hope you have an awesome graduation. And I'm happy you love it. Thank you, Drew. You're welcome. Anytime. All right, that's all the time we have for today. If you haven't done so by now, remember to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click the notification bell so you can be notified when we post new content. Also, don't forget to follow us on Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery on Facebook, where we share helpful tips daily. We're also active on Instagram, where we share tips, stories, and many how-to tutorials for everything embroidery and printing related. Links to our social media channels can be found in the description below, along with the link to the videos mentioned in this episode. And as always, if you have any other suggestions or ideas that you'd like to see in a future episode of Print Pros, then be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.